Guys, I've had a lot of people in my life tell me that I'm a little bit too much. But could you imagine just for one second a teeny tiny bit? If there was two of me, some might say that that's pretty cool. But others might say that that's a complete nightmare. Either opinion, I respect it. But today, we're gonna be looking at somebody else who actually has two of them. No, seriously, this girl actually has a clone. Well, I guess it's more like a conjoined twin, but you get what I mean. It's two people who share one body and live their whole life completely attached to each other. Super epic, right? But before we get into it, I need you all to smash that like button as hard as you freaking can, or else maybe somebody's gonna clone you. And I don't know if you want that. Also, I need you all to go follow me on my socials because I've been replying to a lot of your guys' DMs recently and I love making new friends. Three, two, one, let's go. All right, so this story is called Maybe I'm a Little Luckier Than My Sister and it's from a channel called Life Diaries. Go check them out, guys. Link's gonna be in the description. Hi, guys. Life has always been full of Whoa, surprises. Whoa, look at them. It gives us so much unpredictability and coincidence but then can also suddenly take them away without warning. A person who seems to be forever attached to us can literally leave us in the future, and we cannot do anything to stop that from happening. Wait, what? We're about 10 seconds in, and I already have so many questions. There are some thoughts of mine about my own life, which was unusual since birth till today. Let me tell you all about it now. I'm Bianca. 29 years old, from Minnesota, USA. Hi, Bianca. And right next to me is my sister, Emily. Hi, Emily. Also 29 years old, who shares a lot in common with me because, obviously, we are conjoined twins. Shh, don't make noise. My sister is sleeping. Please listen to our story quietly. I promise that I will bring a lot of motivation for you. Quietly? Bianca and Ashley, do you even know me? I don't think that's possible. But for the fam, I'll try anything, so let's give it a whirl. 29 years ago, when Emily and I were about to be born, our parents did not even expect a twin, let alone conjoined twins. My mother did not go to prenatal care regularly, so our birth was a big surprise for not only the family, the doctors, but also the public. The doctors were worried. Oh, look at those two little babies. They're so cute. But they do look a little angry, don't you think? They look like two little peanuts who are super angry because they know in about 2.5 seconds, they're about to be crushed into peanut butter. Or maybe they're just sleeping. The doctors were worried that we could not survive even the first night, but we have proven the opposite. <gasps> After that, our parents were faced with a difficult decision of whether to carry out surgery to separate us. Oh my gosh! Due to limited medical advances at the time, our parents worried that one or even both of us might not be able to survive the surgery. Hold up, hold up, hold up! Did you just see how they were gonna separate the twins? Buddy held up a little butter knife and did a little one, two, three, four. I mean, bro, I know that those babies look as smooth as some fresh margarine, but you can't just spread them on a piece of toast and cut them up and then eat them. That's just crazy. And so they decided not to do it. <gasps> Therefore, Emily and I have been living together like this for 29 years straight. Whoa. We share a single body, but have separate head and neck. Our breasts are, of course, wider than normal people with two separate hearts. We have two arms and two legs. And obviously, we have to depend on each other to survive. So we learn to agree on how each person controls one side of the body in our daily activities. The task of separately controlling our bodies sounds easy, but it is very difficult in reality. No, Bianca, I don't want to cut your crusty toes today. I did that last week. Well, sorry, Emily, because yesterday I was the one who uh, wiped after we went to, uh, you know what? So sucks to suck. With years of practice, we have perfected our teamwork skills. We can run, swim, bike, and even drive. Cool. On our 16th birthday, we passed the driving test with both of us behind the wheel. <gasps> Emily controlled the devices on the right of the driver's seat, while I managed those on the left. Together, we controlled the steering wheel. We did a great job. But trust me, we are two completely different people. 
Just because we have to do everything together doesn't necessarily mean we agree on everything. Despite sharing the same body- Oh my gosh! That visual of them both in the same bed together does not look comfortable. I mean, it looks like one is just plopped on top of the other. You know, like you would stack your favorite fluffy pancakes. One has to be on the bottom and I guess one has to be on top. Not fun. Despite sharing the same body, we have grown to be ambitious and have two separate souls. Ooh. Emily is more stubborn than me. She likes to eat a lot of meat while I tend to be vegetarian. This is probably a forecast for Emily's future health. Wait, but how would that work if they both share the same body? I hate to break it to you, Bianca, but that chicken's going inside of you too. So, uh, I don't think you're really a vegetarian, but that's just my opinion. We share the dream of being a teacher, and we achieve that by graduating from Bethel University with a major in education and starting a teaching career. We are elementary school teachers in the U.S. right now, but we only get a salary for one person. Because we have a unique personality and unique learning experiences, we can teach in two different ways. One can teach and the other can follow and answer questions. We are proud to be able to do more than one person. At first, everyone was concerned that conjoined twins like us would be laughed at by the children. Mm. But quite the opposite, we naturally became the inspiration for the children. We are like a constant reminder of what our small students can achieve despite adversity. Aw, guys, I like that. That is very true. That's why all of you guys have to go after your dreams, no matter how big or how small they might be. You never know if something's gonna work unless you try. We have dreamed of launching a reality TV show to inspire people, okay. especially children from all over the world, of their ability to go beyond their limits. We all dreamed of a future of traveling everywhere to give speeches and motivate people. But one of us, unfortunately, had to stop. And that person is Emily. <gasps> yes, I am telling you this story hurriedly before being <gasps> taken to the operating room for the torn surgery to leave Emily. <gasps> My poor sister was unlucky to not have a healthy heart like me. It's the chicken! It has to be the chicken! They're practically the same person, do the same exercise, and the same day-to-day -day stuff every day! Suspicious. Also, if I caught those words right, it looks like they're gonna have to get that butter knife chop chop surgery to separate them since the other one is getting too sick. Oh gosh, let's see how this is gonna go. My poor sister was unlucky to not have a healthy heart like me. In the past year, she has been suffering from heart attacks and things quickly deteriorated. Ooh. We had to cancel all teaching and other daily schedules because Emily got exhausted quickly. <gasps> Half of our body could not move normally because Emily was not alert enough to control it. <gasps> she and I had to stay in the hospital bed all the time. The doctor said that because of the nature of conjoined twins, it seems that I have received better genes while Emily was not so lucky. Oh, I see now. Seems like Bianca got the real double stuffed Oreo and Emily was stuck with the off-brand, no-name, disgusting Oreo that has no filling inside. Ah, oh, that's not fair. I guess life isn't fair. Hmm. They warned us about the risk of death of both bodies when one body died. <gasps> we broke down when hearing so mm. and did not want to discuss that bad possibility further. Mm -mm. However, Emily's condition quickly got so much worse, her heart couldn't resist any longer. <gasps> Emily had an overwhelming heart attack <gasps> this morning and left me behind. <gasps> yes, that is exactly why my dear Emily is sleeping. She fell into a deep sleep, leaving me lonely after 29 years of attachment. Oh my gosh, could you imagine you're just living your life and then BAM! Your sister's attached to you, but she's in a coma and you don't even know if she's gonna wake up? Oh, the tragedy! We had been soon hospitalized and mentally prepared for this worst situation. Yet it was still really heartbreaking to me. I cried a lot, but I'm grateful to be able to be with her at the last moment. The best doctors in the state with the latest machines and medicine could not save Emily. <gasps> and now, they predict that the death of Emily's conjoined body will cause blood loss in the living twin, which is me. Wait, guys! I guess she wasn't in a coma! Emily's... Dead! Oh! 
I only have a few hours to be saved with a major operation. That was why we had to be in the hospital before Emily died, <gasps> so the surgeons would be ready to handle the critical situation. Oh my gosh! What the heck's going on there? Emily's like asleep, and then waking up like a zombie, and then asleep again, and then awake? It's like, Emily, girl, make up your mind, sweetie. Are you alive or are you not? Because you're just scaring me! They are coming to take me away, guys. Separation surgeries usually take more than 10 hours. <gasps> But the possibility of success is not guaranteed. Because sepsis can occur when an infection from Emily's deceased twin body overwhelms my system, leading to organ failure. I know all of those facts really well, but still agreed to undergo this surgery, all because of my promise to Emily. I promised her that I would continue to live, mm. continue to nurture our dream of inspiring the whole world after her death. Wait, does that mean Bianca's gonna only have one arm and one leg? But she's happy about being famous after? Or maybe she does just actually want to live on the legacy of her and her sister. In that case, I think that's good. But can we just talk about Buddy McBuddy over here interviewing her? Like, why is he blue? He looks like a freaking vampire, but I'm not here to judge, so, uh, I guess continue? I will take over the teaching tasks of both of us like we used to do together. So sad. I will also take care of my parents for Emily. I did not allow myself to give up, but had to try twice as much for my beloved Emily. My Emily is sleeping peacefully, isn't she? Eternal sleep. I'll find her in the afterlife when I die to continue being your perfect half. But not yet. I still have a promise to keep with my twin sister. Please pray for me. Mm. Goodbye and I look forward to seeing you after the surgery, if it succeeds. For now, I have to go. Wait, what? They're just gonna end it off like that? I need to know what happened to Bianca. Did the butter knife chop chop work or did it not? So many questions and zero answers. Guys, comment down below what you think happened to Bianca and if you think her surgery went well or if you think it didn't go so well. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, subscribe so you can join the family. I love you guys so much. Mwah! And I'll see you all in the next video.